Hi guys. Seem to have had a bit of a run of rubber band powered cars for the last few episodes. I'm going to do another one now. I've got a request from EnviroMaster EnviroAssess. Can I make a rubber band powered car from an ice cream tub? Well, obviously there's quite a few different types of tubs, but I've got one here from my supermarket in their cheap range vanilla soft scoop although I don't suppose it matters what type of ice cream it had in it it's a two litre container got a quick rummage in my box there I've got some CDs that have already got some bottle tops hot glue to them that one has come off so I'll redo that one That'll be the back wheels. For the front wheels, I'll use some of these roll-on deodorant balls, underarm deodorants, which are already drilled and on a barbecue skewer. So that'll do for me front wheels. So I need to poke some holes through put some drinking straws through to hold the axles. That'll help strengthen the plastic because it's quite thin plastic this. Need to choose a couple of drinking straws. So we'll just go lucky dip or choose a particular colour. Let's use green. Marked up where I want to make the holes for the axles to go through. The front one's got to be very near the bottom, and the back ones have got to make sure that the wheels clear the base. Right, that's the axle tubes in place, and I've also put a hole at that end for the rubber band to go through. I've done all this with my hot solder and iron, just melted holes straight through. You have to be a bit careful when you do that because you're going to get some nasty fumes given off, so you need a well ventilated area to do that. But it's a quick and easy way of doing it if you're careful. That's the right height as well. I need to shorten these a bit. my barbecue skewer is a bit too short for that length of drinking straw. And then I'll use another bit of barbecue skewer on the front there to loop the rubber band round and spread the load. So we're not going to bend the plastic. I've put a bit of hot glue round the edges of the tubes there to hold them into the carton so that I can cut the rest of it away now. It's a little bit short really, um, only need a couple of rubber bands to go from the front to the back. So I've looped them onto this bit of barbecue skewer. Poke them through that hole to make it easier to connect the rubber band to the back axle. I'll just put this cable tie around the back axle. Cut it off. And that's just to give us something to hook the rubber band onto so we can wrap the band round the axle easily. Test run time. I'll just give you a 
demonstration of hooking the rubber band around that back axle. So it goes over that cable tie clip that I put there. That's simply just to hold it in place while we wind the rubber band up. Now, let's see if it goes up the kitchen. Success. There we go. Summary time. So what have we got here? Got an ice cream tub, a uh, two litre I think it was. That's the main chassis. Back wheels are CDs with plastic bottle tops as the hubs. Front wheels are the balls from roll on underarm deodorant. The axles front and back are just barbecue skewers. There's another bit of barbecue skewer on the front there to hold the rubber band. Drinking straws front and back to put the axles through. And I think that's about it. A couple of rubber bands. Oh, and a little cable tie on the back axle there just to hook the rubber band onto to make it easy to wind it up. That's it, job done. I was going to make it look pretty and put shiny sticky back plastic all over it, but because I decided not to put the lid on, uh, didn't seem to be much point in dressing it up because it was only to cover over the manufacturer's logos anyway. So that's it, job done.